Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So it is Saturday and it is around 5.35. We're going to get dinner started, just me and Bill tonight. And i um, been doing a little bit in the kitchen. I just put up a video for my grocery haul. So if you want to go check that out, go check that out. I want to show you I'm wearing my new apron from Courtney from Little from our little gingerbread house. Is this the cutest thing? Look, look, look. Look at the gingerbreads of our houses. Look at, look, look, look. Is that adorable? I love it. And I'm also wearing my bake, bake. Um, I can't read it right now. No place like baking or, or baking is, the world's a better place than you bake or something like that. But, so I'm wearing that and I got my apron on. Apron on. So yeah. I don't know. All right, guys. So what I'm making is I'm gonna make a pasta dish for Bill and I tonight. I'm making um, with chicken and some. Um, it's, it's a, like a lemon pasta with chicken and some uh, white wine, cooking wine, and um, garlic. And yeah, that's what we're making tonight. Something very simple. So I'm going to, um, tomorrow we're going to be having meats and stuff, you know, chickens and stuff. So I wanted to make a pasta tonight. Let me go over there and get the lemons. All right. So let's cut up some chicken thighs here that I have. Just so we have a little protein in it. Cause we, it's just lemon pasta. So I want to have a little protein. I could also put some little broccoli in it maybe. So I'm going to cut these in fairly small pieces. We like them small. Chicken, chicken, chicken. That's all we eat, basically. No, I know. I'm saying like you know, meat, we eat lean, lean ground beef. good he just gets really tired quick you know so we haven't really we don't do much we just hang out in the yard you know do a couple things in the house and don't really do much you know extending because of his situation right now and uh yeah So, just hanging out, enjoying the weather, and hopefully the, the weather will start getting better. And it's been kind of on and off, rainy, and then nice, and then rainy. But I was glad it rained, too, because um, I have to put my whole garden together. You know, I still have a little bit more to do. It rained good, so, and then it's supposed to rain a little bit more tonight. Um, so whatever rain it comes is great for the garden. The rain and the sun, that's all good. I'm just cutting this really small. Like I said, I'm not making a large, huge amount. This is about it right here. And I have like three or four more, uh, like two or three more um, thighs in there to make something else during the week or tomorrow or whatever. Like I said, tomorrow we're going to have a bunch of things, but we're going to have, um, we're going to have a few varieties of things, but we're going to have, um, 
a little of each one. You know what I mean? Not a big amount of each item because I'm making a few a few of them. So I have um, ribs that I took out of the freezer. I have chopped meat. Um, I'm going to make chicken, of course, some barbecue chicken. And I have some sausage. So we'll just throw a couple of each on. And whoever wants whatever, we'll have whatever. I mean, just made uh, boiled eggs for deviled eggs. I'm going to make deviled eggs. Julie's really making the pasta salad. Um, I might make a little potato salad, too. I might. I got to see. Um, yeah. So that's what we're going to have. Little snacks, and we'll be good. So, that's it. Oh, I'm also going to make uh, sugar-free, well, semi-sugar-free, um... Uh, pudding pie, vanilla and chocolate pudding pie. Yeah. Um, what was I doing? Okay, I washed my hands. Uh, let me get the pan. I'll put the chicken aside over here because we don't need that right now. I, cut, I gotta cut up some garlic. I'm gonna use the fresh garlic and I'm gonna use a little bit of the minced, I think. Let me get the frying pan. I'm trying to think of what pan I'm gonna use. So I use this pan. Well, you know what? I think I'll use my other pan. I use the pan with the cover. If I like to be able to cover it. Yeah. Oh, I have um, the water up. I didn't put it on yet. I'll put that on in a minute. some garlic. Um, let me get the other knife out. Because the other one I just used and it's a oh, chicken and I don't feel like eating it. So, comment down below what you guys are doing for Mother's Day. Are you celebrating your mom? Are you celebrating your stepmom, your dad, or, you know, your dad that's always been a mom, you know, your friend, whoever it is. Don't forget to call those people that you, you're not going to see them. Don't forget to call them and let them know that you love them and you're thinking of them. Because I know sometimes we don't live by our parents and it's difficult, you know. So, uh, but a little phone call goes, goes a long way, guys, right? A little phone call goes a long way. five garlic cloves here. And I'll cut up. I also have fresh parsley in the drawer. I gotta check it out and see if I um it's still good. I think it is. I, I put it in there last week. And parsley usually lasts like a month or more. new hurdle to get over. It seems besides the normal hurdles. We're all just trying to get through this crazy life, guys. Survive it. I 
I got to, um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, um, get some lemon zest. Lemon zest is a big part of this meal. Um, it's very, it's, you know, it's good for the pot. You know, it's nice flavor. It's not just a lemon juice, but the lemon zest really does flavor the sauce and the pasta. So this is a pretty good meal for my husband. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's not really overly fatty and um, it's lemons, which are good. Pa you know, it's pasta, carbs, yeah. So he doesn't have carbs a lot. And um, he can have carbs, you know. It's not bad, really crazy bad for him. And, um, the cooking wine is okay. It doesn't really have, uh, I mean, it has sodium here, yeah, but like, again, I don't use a lot of sodium. I don't put sodium into my food anymore. I only use Mrs. Dash, which I can't believe I forgot to get today. I can't believe I forgot to get a big Mrs. Dash. I really just, brain does not work right. Just doesn't work right. All right, so the garlic is cut up enough here. Did you know, a little tip for you, the smaller you cut garlic, the stronger it is. The bigger you leave it, the less strong it is. Yeah. Just a little tip for you guys. All right, All right so let's zest the lemons. Okay. Put this over to the side. Let me get my zester. My zester. I think he actually bought a dresser. I had this one, but he got one too. We don't know where it is right now. But when he went to um, Ikea, he got his Esther. <laughs> You're right. Probably zest too. Mmm, you can smell the lemon. Ooh, love it. Love it. Lemons mean a lot to me. When I was growing up, we, my mom and dad got divorced. We moved to Florida. And we moved um, next door to this family who, me and her, me and they had two daughters or three daughters. And uh, me and the, the younger daughter were best of friends. Her name was Ginger, and she had strawberry red hair, ponytail always, long hair. We just, like, hit it off. And we used to, a couple of houses down, there was a man who had a lemon tree, a couple of lemon trees in his backyard. And he was, like, a sickly old man, but he was pretty friendly. So he always let us go back in his yard and pick lemons. He would love you have so always let us do that. So we used to go back there, pick lemons, and we would come home with lemons and we would just eat them like they were apples. Yeah. Oh my God, we had so much fun. But yeah, that was a nice memory and I'll never forget me and Ginger. It was Florida, you know, and I'll, she had an outdoor shower and like I would go in the shower, you know, we could put our bathing suits on, we'd go shower. And then um, when it was, um, when it would rain, we would put our bathing suits out on and go out in the rain and jump in the water and the puddles and the rain and in the winter, which is for Florida, the, you know, not winter, we would pick pine cones and all this. Just really beautiful memories. And I still talk to her today. We didn't talk for a lot, a lot of years, but we, we spoke, you know, since Facebook and even before that, we, um, we have spoken, you know, um, a few times. But, yeah, such great memories. Ginger. Yeah. Actually, her name was Regina. Pretty sure her name was Regina, and we always just called she, her Ginger. She wanted us to call her Ginger, so yeah. Great childhood memories. I got a lot of that. I got a lot of good good memories, best friends. I was one that had a best friend, like five different best friends. You know, most people just have one or two. 
I have like five best friends at, at one time or another, but I have uh, one really best friend that I always, I've had since eighth grade. And uh, yeah, but I have a lot of very, very good, good, good friends that I consider, you know, best friends. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna do about half of this because Billy likes lemon, but he's not overly, you know, I'm very, I like a lot of citrus. He's not very big on it. He likes it, but he doesn't like an over amount. So, you know, the more I put in, the less juice I'll put in because he'll say it's very lemony. It was good, but it was very lemony. That's what he'd say. So I'll just put some, add some extra lemon to my dish. If I want more lemon. Yeah, so this is the pretty easy way to do it just by holding it here and just keeping it stable. Don't get any of the white because the white is bitter. All right, I think that's good. Yankees are losing. They were winning, now they're losing. To the Tampa Ray. What are they? Rays. The Tampa, the Tampa Bay Rays. Oh, Rays. Really, Rays? Come on, come on, Yankees. You're better than that. What are you gonna do? They can't win them all. What? Oh, I know. All right, guys. So that's good. That's probably about two, three. I would say about three tablespoons of um lemon zest. Put in as much as you want if you want to do it, whatever. Um, okay, so I got the garlic, I got the lemon, I got the chicken. Everything is all rete. The water is um, up, so we'll just wait for that to boil. And um, this is going to be a quick, this is going to be a quick meal. It's very quick to make this. And like I said, if I would, like, if I had shrimp, I forgot to get shrimp at Walmart. I really wasn't in to get, I wasn't going to get it anyway, but if you have shrimp, if you have, um, you know, mush. Oh, and the mushrooms. God darn it. That's what I wanted to do, mushrooms. You did. We're making a chicken mushroom. Yeah, because I'm making them more. I have to explain that to them. I forgot. I'm so brain dead. decided to do guys um, was because I don't have a lot of this wine I have a lot of this the Marsal so I'm gonna make um, a lemon Marsala mushroom pasta that's what I'm doing I forgot so, yeah, so I have some mushrooms that are gonna be on on their way out soon so I'm gonna use these mushrooms that are here they got to be cleaned and so let's just wipe these clean. They're they're really like on the verge. So but they'll be fine. Now what you do, you never immerse a lot you never immerse a, um a mushroom because they'll become like soggy and stuff. So I'm just, you just wipe them. Like I said, these are just about like, probably I would throw them out tomorrow or the next day. So I think they'll be okay though. So I'm just trying to get all the dirt off of them. Some mushrooms are really good. They're not dirty and some are. I'll never forget, I was used to watch um, Rachel Ray when she used to have 30 minute meals. Love that show. And uh, she always used to say, ah, what's a little, she used to do clean the mushrooms. She used to say, What's a little dirt? You know how many damage of dirt we've eaten in our lives? And it's true. What's a little dirt? It's not going to kill you. It's not going to kill you. A little dirt from under the ground. That's one thing I didn't get. I was going to, I wanted to do onions and potatoes. I don't think I'm going to do onions and potatoes. I did get scallions. 
So I'm going to do those, um, and I got radishes. Um, so potatoes and onions, I just couldn't get it done this year, I don't think so. That's okay, because my the important things really were the tomatoes, the cucumbers, the um, zucchini, the, um, what else, I got carrots, um, oh, string beans, did I say that? String beans, um, all the stuff that we really eat, you know, which will be a nice savings from the food store, and hopefully it'll all come up good. And there was a couple other things I got too. Or maybe squash, yeah, zucchini squash, uh, you know, winter squash. Did I do those? Yeah, winter squash, a few of those things. So, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to cut them right here on the paper towel because I don't have room on there and I don't want to um, move that stuff right now. So, I'm going to leave them fairly, you know, not tiny, fairly at a nice size. You can taste the mushrooms. I hope these are good. I really do because yeah, they're good. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put the pan on in a minute. Let's put the pan on, get it nice and hot. And we're all set. Let's get the olive oil out. I have it in two places. Where did I put it? I don't know Yankees, but maybe they'll still win one day. All right, guys, so the oil is heating up now. I'm going to put um, the mushrooms in first, and then I'll put the garlic in after that and the lemon zest. I want the mushrooms to saute on a high heat for a few minutes before I put the garlic in. Because you want them to get, like, caramelized, you know? Oh. The water's starting to go. I'm not going to put the, the pasta in yet because um, the pasta's only going to take six minutes. So this has to be almost done before I do that. So I won't add any, um, any salt to this mushrooms because... Yeah, I don't know if we're water. Thank you. Because um, the water, the salt brings out the, the juices in the, in, the, in, the, in the mushroom so they won't caramelize. Besides it's that Phil, you know what I forgot to get? I forgot to buy freaking Mrs. Dash today. How did you do when that? When Frankie goes that? to the store, he's going to have to get me a big one. I forgot it at Walmart. I can't believe it. So I'm not going to put either. salt anyway. I'm going to put Mrs. Dash. I forgot Dano's and Mrs. Dash. And I really want Dano's. Dano's is the best. So anyway, I'm going to let this saute a little bit, not touch it. And then um, I'll mix it up with the fresh garlic in and all the seasonings. Then the lemon zest, the chicken, uh, the, what the hell is that? The lemon zest. And what? What are you doing? What's going on? Dropping the motor or something? I don't know what are you doing. Something weird. I got nervous. All right, so this is looking good, guys. Mm. Looking yummy. What? Smells good, right? I'm just going to put some Mrs. Dash in the um, hot water. 
Um, what else? I don't look that great today, guys. I really don't look my, my best, but, you know, it is what it is. It's Saturday. Saturday. What? Weird. Well. Silly weird. Married, married. married me. But I still love him, I think. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> of course I love my hubby. Whatever. Alright, this is looking good. Let's put the garlic and the lemon zest in here. Mmm. Look at that, guys. Ooh. I wish we had smell vision I might put, I gotta say, a little drop of chicken boiling. 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 Where's the boiling? Deviled egg. Oh. For tomorrow. Whatever. Is that okay? No. No, not okay. No. Nope. I'm going to let this, just the garlic cook a little, a little bit, and then we'll put the chicken in, and then we'll saute that for five minutes, and then that'll be done, and then I'll just put the, the, the liquid in, and Cooks about 10 minutes and then it will be eaten. Gotta get Angel. 10 minutes, I mean 15 minutes. We have to get Angel here in the back. I didn't come into work. <laughs> I am going to do one thing. Oh, yeah? And I ended up doing two things already. And now you got me doing a third. I'm on bed rest. You're on bed rest? Go, why don't you say hi to them? You haven't seen them. I don't look good. You don't look good. Really, go. What the hell? I just tell you what this is. Hi. There's, there's Mr. America. Mr. America? <laughs> You're funny. You're a funny one. All right, that's good, guys. Let's put the chicken in. Why is there something on the floor? What did he do? He what? He hole in the No big deal. This is going to be yummy. Yeah, Oh my god. Really, Yankees? Come on. season so yeah, a little bit of garlic powder oh shoot I want to get the parsley out some parsley dried parsley um
little bit of Italian seasoning. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put the liquid in because it's starting to get a little crispy. You want it to get a little caramelized, but you don't want it to burn, you know? Mmm. Guys, the smell is unbelievable. So like I said, I have this, the white cooking lemon wine. And I'm also doing the Marcel. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the bottle open. Oh shoot. One minute, guys. Talk songs yourselves. I gotta go bring this to hubby. We're going to lower this flame, first of all, to low. And now I'm going to put about half of this bottle in. You know what? I'm just going to put it all because my husband's a pain in the ass. He likes everything. He likes everything very juicy. So, yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of water in this, too, and a little bit of the bouillon. Mommy, pick up before we Okay. Um. I'm going to put it a little bit higher so it comes to a boil. I forgot that I want it to come to a little bit of a boil, guys, okay? Yeah, I think what I'll do later is make some, um, some sugar-free, um, drink in here, iced tea, um, with the, with the, the zeros that I have, and, um, so I have something to drink. I like to be able to just go in there and pour it instead of having to always make the laughs or cop, you know, drink. It's not a big deal, but it's just, yeah. So I got, yeah, I thought this was so cute today when I saw that. Yes. All right, so this is starting to boil a little bit. So I'm going to take the top off. Um, it's good. It's okay because I don't have any um, like shrimp in it or anything like that that can that's uh, going to overcook. It's only the mushrooms and the chicken. The chicken won't overcook. It's chicken thighs, so it'll be good. Um, yeah. Alright, so I got Angel here. I'm gonna make probably just like a half a pan. I think that should be plenty for the two of us. And some, but I wanna taste this and see how this is because I have to make sure that all the um that all the uh cooking wine, you know. It's not strong, you know what I mean? Oh I got half of this Ah, oh, Linda, Linda, Linda. Mm. Oh God. Number one, it needs more lemon. Number two, I gotta get the freaking parsley out. And number three, it definitely has to simmer a few, a few, a little while longer because it's very whiny. Yeah, Which you want, but you want also, you know. Let me go get the parsley. All right, people. I was just on a, I was just on a treasure hunt for the, um, for the parsley. I emptied out the whole goddamn refrigerator. I'm not even kidding. And it was on the door. It was on the door. Why? It's my fault. Happy. 
is awesome. I do not even feel like sitting here and picking all these stems out. I really don't. So I don't even know what to say tonight. But I'm probably going to end up doing it because I don't want stems in my food, but I also don't feel like doing this. I should do this, like, when I bring it home. That's what I should do. I should, like, take all the stems off of it. This way, when I go to use it, it's just all right there and ready. But now, why would I do that? Because that would be the easy thing to do. I don't know. Maybe if I feel better mentally, I'll start doing some more stuff. i got to do, do some more prepping. I don't know. Guys, when I'm, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm on my game mentally, I can get a lot accomplished. I do a lot. I feel good. You know, when I'm not on my game emotionally, mentally, I do the minimum. And that's the God's honest truth. And that's just because that's all I can do. You know, I can only do what I can do and what I'm capable of doing. And when it's, when I'm, when it's good, it's really good. When it's, and then it could be good, but not so good, you know, but it could be good enough. But when it's really good, it's good. And I love it when it's really, when I feel really good because I just feel really, you know, it's just a different feeling. It's an alive type of feeling from when you're not so good. And when I say alive, you know, with, with when you have, when you suffer from depression and anxiety, it affects your life in every way. You know, things that, like, just going out of the house, you know, getting sun, going out of the house, um, everything is just a big deal, you know? And so, when you're feeling good, and I know as myself when I'm feeling good, I take advantage of it. And it's easier to do that because I'm also feeling good, so you can take advantage of it, you know what I mean? If you, you, you'll un you understand if you um, have been through depression or anxiety, you understand. If you don't, you can't really relate. Because people just think you can just, oh, just push through it. You can't push through stuff, certain things. You can't, you know. You want to, believe me, nobody wants to push through a, an, an episode of depression more than the person that's going through it <laughs> because it's debilitating you know what I mean just picture it's like everything that you do in your life from the time you get up in the morning to the time you go to bed you have to um, you have a 500 pound weight on your back that's what it feels like how does it feel to walk around with that kind of weight on you does it feel good all right, so let's taste it. I don't want to put the parsley until the end anyway because the parsley will, like, you know, just burn up in there. Oh, you know what I want to do, too? I forgot. My one, my my main ingredient for my sauces is the, um, pa the basil paste. I got to go get it. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Oh, my God. So, so, yum, yum. I think it needs a little bit more lemon. It really does. And guys, liquid gold, I say it all the time. Go get yourself some of it. It's amazing for sauces, for salads. I just absolutely freaking love it. And until I get my basil from the, my garden, which I can't wait, I keep this in my... Um, during the fall, winter, and the rest of the months, I always keep this in my arsenal because um, you can't, the fresh basil lasts about five minutes literally in your, in your cabinet, in your refrigerator. It doesn't last at all, and it's a waste of money, so I don't buy it anymore. It just doesn't last. But this stuff, woo! So good. Alright, we're going to put the pasta in now because it's time.
cut up this, um, I have to cut up the parsley. It needs lemon because, you know, it is called lemon pasta. Lemon Marcella pasta. All right, let's put the pasta in. While this simmers a little bit, we'll put a half a pound. I think a half a pound could be plenty. Angel hair pasta goes very far. It looks like it's nothing, and then Alexa, set the timer for six minutes. So Jenny's coming over tomorrow, so that's good. I spoke to her today. She went um, to the store and got me uh, a Mother's Day gift, she said. And then she was going out to dinner tonight with her group, her group home friends for her birthday. And then her birthday will be officially over. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's only the fifth one. Just start talking about next year's. All right, I'm gonna put this on low now. Yeah, and then oh yeah, she'll already and she already said, oh next year I'll be 36. I'm like oh Jen, please. She starts in like March. No, like in February, January, she starts about her birthday. She does in the, for May. Yes. All right. Let's let the simmer now. Boil. Let's taste this. This should be good now. I gotta cut the parsley up, guys. Mmm. Oh my God, I'm shutting it. That is so freaking good. I wish you guys could taste this. I wish you could taste this. Mm. Oh my God, delicious, delicioso. All right. And I, I, you know, I told you guys I'm using less butter and all that. I put like a teaspoon of butter in there. That's it. Normally I put like, you know, a half a stick of butter. Nope. And it's still just as good. That's why I like to also use, kind of try to use fresh herbs if you can, when you don't use as much salt because... You know, it replaces, it gives that good strong flavor of herbs and all that. You don't need as much salt, you know. So I put, I'll put this in the in the pasta sauce right before I put the pasta in it, or right after. And then um, we put it on our on our individual plates too. So good. And if you don't have fresh parsley, just use the dry 
There are years and years that I never use fresh parsley. I used to always use the dry, and I still use the dry. And I use, if you know, I use the fresh if I have it. And like I said, I got, I got spoiled in the in the summer. Last summer, the years past, that I've had my own parsley. So then during the, the fall and the winter, I want my old, you know, I want real parsley. But um, if I don't have it, I don't use it, and it's just as good. So don't worry about if you don't have parsley. If you just have the dry, it will be fine. It'll be just as yummy. All right. Um, all right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to let the pasta cook, and then I'll be back when that's all done and show it, and show it to you. All right, so what I'm going to do is the pasta is done. I'm just going to put the pasta right into this. And if a little of the starch comes with it, that's fine because it'll thicken up the pasta a little bit. It'll thicken up the sauce just a tiny bit. And guys, this feeds a lot of people. Like, you can make a pound of this and feed six people, literally. This is a half a pound. And what I'm going to do is And if you find, if you want to make your sauce a little bit thicker, just add some of the pasta water to it. Mine is thick enough, don't need any more. Because, like I said, hubby likes the juice. And so do I. I like it juicy, too. All right, so. Parsley. Some lemon. And some good old grated parmesan. Dinner's ready. Ready. Dinner's ready, Freddy. And just a little bit of Parmesan, and we'll do our own Parmesan. There we go, guys. I wonder if that's hot. The hubby singing. What? There we go. And dinner is ready. All right, guys, I'll be back with my plate. I'm excited about this meal. Yes, I am. All right, guys, so here is my plate. Oh, my God. All I have to say is it amazing. I'm going to turn it around, taste it for you, and then I'll say my, my goodbyes. All right. Let me taste a little bit for you. You like it? We got mushrooms and we got chicken, lemon, parsley. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass. Mm. Oh my God. Thumbs up, baby. That's so good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because when you subscribe, it really helps my channel grow. And I so appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. Thank you so much for coming into my kitchen with me and creating and hanging out. Love you guys. I'm just going to take one more bite. Mm -hmm. So yummy. The parsley and a little bit of lemon and a little bit of grated cheese. You have the can of the grated cheese? So good. All right, guys. If you want to support my channel, go to my about and you'll see all my information there. 
I love you. I appreciate all of you. See you on the next video. Guys, I'm sorry about the quotes. I'm going to start doing my quotes again. I promise, promise, promise. Love one another. Be kind and, 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 and put yourself in somebody else's shoes so you could have empathy for them. Always have compassion, guys. Love yous. Bye.